Hey, my name is Shadow Sense, and you're watching Arcade Spirits. We just uh, dealt with some rough kids. One very sad kid gave him some life advice. And now, it looks like it's the end of the day. And I gotta take a drink of water. My throat really hurts. From the cars pulling up in the parking lot, it looks like the party's over. It's just about closing time for the arcade anyway. Most of the gamers have filed out by now if they hadn't already fled the tidal wave of kitties. My first impulse is to go bug Gavin about my paperwork, but eh, that can wait. I'd rather go help someone with tidying up or maybe see how our VIP gamers are doing. Not enough time to run around checking in with everyone though. What do I want to hang out with? Shit. <laughs> I want to hang out with Naomi because she's cute, but also Queen Bee's cute, but also Ash is cute. Tail's fucking cool. I like Percy, but he seems too preoccupied with this game. And Gavin's too stoic for my taste. I like Teo. Pretty fucking cool. I'm going to go with Naomi, though. Naomi definitely looks like she could use a hand. Someone's jammed bright pink bubblegum into a coin slot and she's trying to clear the sticky mess out. How could they? How could they do this to a poor innocent little Qbert? Hey, need a hand? Oh thank goodness. Yeah, work on the second player slot for me. I've got swabs and my stuff in my kit there. Grab what you need. So frustrating. Honestly, the nerve of those kids. No respect at all for these games. Games aren't like chew-proof, machine-washable baby toys. They're delicate and deserve love and care. But they are toys, right? Well, yeah, I mean, of course, just, you know, they're also works of art. I know not everybody sees it that way. Back in the 80s, operators would just throw away games that didn't perform well anyway. In the end, an arcade has to make money. That means using and abusing a game until it's time to put it out to pasture. But I don't have to like it, right? Um... Uh, what one? This is my real life answer, this middle one right here though. Not all kids are mean. They had fun. <clears throat> uh, do... Uh, let's do that one. Can't hurt. Nothing justifies deliberately trashing a game like this, but if it helps, the party was a success. Everybody had fun playing our wonderful games, or your wonderful games. So for every kid who hurt you, know a dozen more would thank you if they knew you were providing these great games and making sure they stayed playable. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Kids aren't all bad, of course. I'm not really good with kids, not like Ashley, but... If they learn to love games when they're young, they'll love them all their life, right? But I do have to be realistic. I know this isn't a museum. We aren't preserving priceless treasures for generations to come. Sometimes I treat it like my little private collection, but really, I do want people to play and enjoy these games, and that does wear them down in time. As long as I'm here, I'll pick up a game when it wobbles on its feet, dust it off, straighten it up, and send it out there to be played with all over again. With the last of the gum pulled out of the slot, Naomi closes up her toolbox. I should probably pull the coin max entirely and give him good old cleaning tomorrow, but I didn't want to let the gum sit overnight. I'm heading home soon. I'll see you tomorrow, right? You got it, Naomi. Great. And she gives me a big hug before bounding off to her workshop. With things winding down, there's just one last thing to take care of before I'm out of the door. I seek out Gavin to handle the remains of the day. Matt, good work today. Thanks, boss. Mid boss? Sub boss? Gavin will do. Hmm. I can't say you've been a perfect employee, but my standards are impossibly high, so I'll just assume you are as close to perfect as is reasonable. The cost of cleaning our carpets won't be as bad, thanks to your quick thinking. Normally, I'd have dealt with angry parents myself, but I was distracted. I've only second-hand accounts of your performance there, as Teo told me everything. Although Teo isn't staff, I suppose he stepped up to handle the, that rude customer with rational and calm attitude. So, I'll consider that handled. I'm not pleased with 
that you sold our Moopy for only $1,000, not $3,000 as I had requested. Gavin, we only paid 200 bucks for that game. I'd be ripping off a customer. A customer with exceptionally deep pockets. And one who squats in that game all day, spending only a handful of change in the process. If anything, 3000 is what we need to make the up the last pro the last profit from Percy being so moopy obsessed. There we go. What's more? Why it's still here is a good question. Was that not clear I wanted it gone? Percy didn't want to break up the family. They're machines, not people. He also didn't want Naomi to be sad. Yes, well, Naomi needs to learn to let go, I'd say. Him. <laughs> Are you giving our poor little Matt a hard time, Gavin, dear? Miss Francine, I thought you were napping. Let's be sensible. Naomi's dreams matters too. Or Naomi's dream matters too. As does the dream of Percy, that poor fellow. Poor? Isn't Percy stinking rich? Everyone has a dream they're chasing. Gavin, I know you mean well. Wanting to keep everyone's dreams afloat. But sacrifice is made in the name which shatter the dreams of others, well... That's not what the funplex is all about. Matt, you understand, yes? The reason why? Why I'm here? That's the question she asked me during the inter that interview. Now, I think I understand. I came here today looking for hope. Hope I could do more with my life than compromise, settle for what I can get, and go with the flow. Everybody I've met today is full of hope. Gamers chasing scores, people following their passions. Nobody here is willing to give up on their dreams. Not even you, Gavin. You know, we're better than this, Gavin. We don't settle. We chase after our hopes and dreams and won't accept anything less. I see. Apologies. Matt? Miss Francine? I apologize. It's difficult to balance my idealism against my realism some days, but I know in my heart I need to err on the side of idealism, even if my mind screams in protest. I can assume you are still keen to work here, Matt. I don't even hesitate before replying. Absolutely. Gavin fetches a nearby short stack of forms. Fill these out tonight, hand them in, hand them in to me first thing in the morning. And welcome to the Funplex. Welcome to the family, I'd say. I'm sure you'll fit in just fine, Matt. Job. Secure. Count it. One bus ride later and it's home again. Home again, jiggity jig. Juniper, already home from work, bounds over eagerly to interrogate me on my day. <laughs> so, how'd it go? It went well. Well or well? Really well. Your little app came through, despite being terrifyingly omniscient and just a little bit unnerving. You forgot to have mentioned adorable. That's wonderful. I'm so glad to hear things worked out. You even came home with a smile, like when you were a lifeguard. Huh. Guess I am smiling. Interesting. By the way, there's just one teensy weensy little question I have for you. Shoot. Why exactly? Did you order a giant crate full of pizza bagels? When you put pizza on a bagel? Um, yes. Did I neglect to mention the part of the terms and conditions? On the plus side, I know what I'm having for lunch tomorrow. Pizza bagels. Bitch it. <laughs> Just gonna do this. And that's level one of Arcade Spirits complete. Hey, look, you also won a prize. You'll get one of these for each level you clear, plus some extras for various endings and other hidden thingies. Now let's see your score. Looks like you're really hitting it off with Naomi. You're proving to be a gentle, sweet, and compassionate soul. Also, you've scored 6,200 points. Nice! Keep talking to people and your score will go up, up, up! Today's pizza fact is, Americans eat approximately 100 acres of pizza each day or 350 slices per second. Wow! Do you want to save your game before proceeding to level 2? Yes! Alright! It's level 2 time, baby!
All this fun little jam. Chasing ghosts. Man, these arcade sounds are so good. I wonder, th they probably went to like some arcade in LA and just recorded ambient noise. It is the future year 20XX. And you know what? Things are pretty okay. I've worked as a floor attendant at the Funplex for two weeks now. Hard work to be sure, but rewarding. In a spiritual sense at least. I've helped Naomi repair pinball games. I've had tea with Francine. Well, she reminisced about the far out 1960X's. I've evacuated gamers when the kitchen accidentally caught on fire. And I've had numerous kids puking up nachos on my clothes. I've scraped gum off any number of surfaces. I've chased out what turned out to be entirely too many spiders out of a single skee-ball machine. Okay, look, I know I'm not painting this in a very rosy picture so far, but honestly, I'm happy. I'm happy even amidst the chaos and the grossness. I'm happy, and that's all that matters, right? Right, you're happy. This is the best I've seen you in ages, Matt. Before you'd come home all drained and exhausted, now... Well, you're still tired, but a good tired. My roommate, Juniper, she'd taken to stopping by to during her lunch break whenever she could get away from her office cubicle long enough to do so. Still hard work, don't get me wrong. But overall, it's good work. I feel... I just feel good. Totally good and stuff. Yeah. I don't like that quip. Good. Agreed. Super good. Double plus good. Iris, we talked about you listening in on my conversations. What did I tell you about that? To pretend I wasn't eavesdropping even when I am? Exactly. You know, I'd be more upset about my creepy privacy invading digital overmistress, but I have to admit that Iris has really pulled through for me. Even if she also ordered a three month supply of pizza bagels on my behalf. When you have pizza on a bagel, but Matt, when pizza's on a bagel... So, Juniper, how long do you have left on your break? Any time to squeeze in some pinball or something? I can spot your tokens. No can do. Our new assistant synergy manager arranged, ar arranged a team building exercise at the hard times to say. I have to, like, move colored bits of paper around or something and then exchange high fives. Assistant synergy manager? That sounds like a very vague job? Nah, it's actually entry level. Good pay and right on track to middle management. Pretty cushy if a bit dull. Funny thing is, if they asked me if I knew anybody who'd fit in before they started advertising for candidates and I said nope, who'd want to do that? When was this exactly? Oh, two weeks ago. So two weeks ago, right when I needed to find work, you told them you didn't know any candidates for a for a well-paying entry-level job. Oh, um, oh, oh, never mind. Voice line. Well, uh, but you wouldn't have liked being an assistant synergy manager, right? Not one bit. Probably wouldn't have, honestly. Juniper, please tell me you told them no because I'd already taken this job by that point, not because you forgot. Hey, I didn't forget. I just, you know, didn't bother telling you about the open position that night. I mean, you'd already had so many jobs you hated. I knew you'd hate being an assistant synergy manager, so I didn't feel the need to tell you. Makes sense. And it all worked out, right? You just spent the last five minutes telling me how happy you are here. Not a lie, I was happy here indeed. Also not a lie, having packed pizza bagels for lunch, after having pizza bagels for breakfast, because we barely had enough money to cover rent this week pooled together. Also not a lie, Gavin constantly hiding the numbers from us, insisting things are f were fine, all while dryly joking about perpetually being on edge of crash and burn. Also not a lie, that every time someone in my family tried to chase after happiness instead of stability, we fell deeper and deeper into debt and misery. Ooh. Matt, say something, you're scaring me. When I lost my lifeguard job, I barely reacted. Didn't care that I was impoverished again and facing uncertain future. I guess one of the nasty side effects of no longer going with the flow is no longer being numb to the reality of your situation. But I shouldn't feel upset. I've been genuinely enjoying my new job. It's restored my sense of hope and that my days can be something to live through, not just endure. I have no right to be angry or upset at losing an opportunity at a safer, more stable future. 
right? Uh, honest truth. So I won't be angry or upset. Simple as that. I decided I was done compromising, right? Done with settling, going with the flow? I'm going to be the one to break the family curse. I chose this path of my own free will. Even if I didn't have all the facts at the time. But if I'm going to be honest, boundless confidence doesn't cover the simple fact that I chose to be vulnerable rather than safe. If the arcade closes, if anything else goes wrong... Still, no need to dump all that on Juniper. It's okay, Juniper. You were right. I'd have hated that job. And things are great here. Oh, good. You were kind of freaking me out. Trust me, it's the right decision. You'd learn to loathe working at my office, like I do. I mean, sure, the pay is good, and you get solid health insurance, and paid vacation time, and they have a sweet coffee shop right in the lobby. Yep, I get it. And these really great chairs that support your lower back, like thousand dollar chairs from Sweden crafted by master chairsmiths. Oh, you laid it on a bit there, thick there. Juniper, I said it's fine. Everything is fine. Honestly, I'm okay. I mean, I won't deny that job would have been a safer bet. I want to contribute my fair share to the apartment rent, you know? But what's done is done. I'd rather look forward than back. Right. Right. Uh, forget I said anything. Please forget I said anything. I'm sorry. I should have told you. I shouldn't have held that back. But I still wouldn't have pushed you to take the job. It's totally horrible at my office. You'd have been miserable there, like me. Juniper, it's cool. You're right, I'd have hated it. Okay, okay, good. I've got a good feeling about all this. I think you're right where you need to be, even if I was, uh, kind of dumb about getting you here. Hey, I gotta get back to the office. Have a good lunch, okay? I can feel the distant rumble of a frozen box of pizza bagels taunting me down from the recently repa repaired employee break room. Yeah, okay. And you have a good... rest of the hours of your day, yeah? You bet! I'm okay with this. Everything is fine. Right? Right. What I need right now is a distraction, and frozen pizza bagels are most certainly not it. My pocket money is really slim, but... I think I need to step out for some fresh air and treat myself to a better lunch than that. And hey, maybe some company too. Nice and distracting, talking with someone about anything other than this. Let's see, who's available? Ah, uh, Naomi's not available right now. Shit. Um. Ah, uh, let's get some points with Ashley. It's not often that both floor attendants can go on break at the same time. If I should take advantage of that, or er, I should take advantage of that and see if Ashley wants to grab some chow. On the plus side, I will not be lunching with Pinky the Funplex Flamingo. She's in her civvies anyway. Oh, hi! Hey, hey, Matt! What's up? Kitchen on fire again? She's super cute. God damn it. Not yet. And to avoid that happening again, I suggest having lunch somewhere else. You know, I was just about to suggest that. Both not burning down the kitchen and going out for a bite sounds great. Maybe taking a breather and stepping outside these walls will help take my mind off of everything that happened this morning. And Ashley always has a story to get lost in. Maybe I could get some pointers. Oh hey, I know where we could go. You haven't been to the whole story, have you? Nope, not yet. I've been existing off all these pizza bagels. I do love me some pizza bagels, especially the sausage ones. I wonder how they make those tiny little sausages fit in those bite-sized morsels. Like, is it on a conveyor belt with lots of sharp blades? Chopping down at insane speeds? You wouldn't want to be caught under that, no way. Focus, Ashley. Whole story? Oh, yeah. It's an adorable little bookstore that also sells coffee and donuts. Get it? Whole? Story? <laughs> Not a fan of puns, I take it. Nevertheless, I got a hankering for some mini donuts. Let's go. Despite coming to this little strip mall for two weeks, I hadn't actually visited our neighbors. Pingy Barber Shop. Boring clothing store, delightfully dull. Loan office, office space for rent, office space for rent, yeah. 
Oh, there's whole story. What does that one say? I can't read that one. Smith Joe? Smith Johnson. Attorney at law. That's what it is. Mostly I did whatever needed doing. Took orders from Gavin, lent a hand to Ashley and Naomi, things like that. Whatever the job happened to call for, no more, no less. I couldn't say I'd been part of the any community outside of the immediate circle of my co-workers, whereas the others visited whole, whole story frequently. Ashley leads the way into a shop that smells strangely of dusty old books and sugary sweetness. I don't think I'd ever been in a little independent bookstore. Or bookstore at all, for that matter. It's 20XX! Who buys books in a brick and mortar store anyway? But despite the subdued atmosphere compared to the arcade, there are customers present and accounted for, sipping coffee, reading old tomes, and yes, munching donuts. Ashley secures a tiny table for us before directing me to the bar. Hang on, what the heck is up with this menu? It's organized by the Dewey Decimal System? I'll have the Judy Bloom. It's a bunch of mini donuts. And hey, my treat, okay? I'm on a lot of things, trying not to make a big deal out of it. Cash is tight, my boutique cafe pre er, and boutique cafe pastries wouldn't help my situation much. A pair of middle-aged guys wait to take my order. Hey, I'd like, uh, super sweet glazed chocolate sprinkles. Oh, that's so good. That sounds really good. You know what? Surprise me. What's your favorite donut? Hey, what's good? What's your favorite order from the menu? One Terry Pratchett coming up, a jam pastry with clatchy and coffee. That's a good voice. I felt that in my ear drill in my ear holes. The second fellow puts together my order and drops a small paperback book onto the tray featuring a many legged wooden travel trunk on the cover. Huh. A literally literary lunch. With alliteration, apparently. Damn it! Fuck! He made the joke for me! Hey, you work at the funplex, don't you? His name is also Matt. Right, we've seen you walk past our doors every morning and evening. Like clockwork, tick tock. These voices sound familiar. Is it... Hank and... Is it Hank and Tom Green? Or th is that their names? I don't know. I don't know YouTubers. At least I don't know them. Right, sorry, I should have introduced myself. Floor attendant Matt Bird at your service. I'm your inside guy for tokens and tickets. Oh, we are lousy at video games. Totally lousy. But Francine's just a peach, isn't she? Sweetest dame you'll ever meet. Regardless, welcome to the whole story. I'm Ben. I'm Matt. No relation to the actors. Although they're cuties and so are we. Oh, stop. Stop being cute? <laughs> Never. I love this dialogue. Apparently the sugar is available in forms other than rounded holy. Anyway, don't let us stop you from having fun on your little date. Wouldn't dream of it. It's not a date. Just friends then? Friendly friends on a play date? Maybe the real date was the friends we made along the way. Ah, oh, fuck, that's a good joke, damn it. I'd say the real friends were the friends we made along the way. There we go, he fixed what it. What if the way was also the real friends who were the real friends we made along the way? Oh, stop. Okay, now you're just being silly. And how? Anyway. Anyway. Next order, please. I love these guys. They're such good characters. The pair waves the next customer in as I return to Ashley's table with our orders and a nicely decorated wooden tray. Oh, wow. All right. We're going to do lunch on the next episode. So thank you guys so very much for watching the video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this one, please consider subscribing. And until then, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.